Hey y'all. I intentionally wanted to look like much of nothing as I told this story. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't date often. And when I do, by the second date, I'm like, uh, I'm not cut out for this anymore. Uh, this all came about because I am a fan of E. Hai. You know, Lee Hai, for those of you who are like, who the hell is that? She is an artist with YG Entertainment. And I was on Instagram uh, very recently and saw an image on her IG account that says she was having a secret concert. And I'm like, what? And it was promoted by none other than Tinder. Now, Tinder came out. And when it came out, I did put it on my phone many years ago. And I had two very very bad tinder dates so i never fooled with it again and went on about my life never did go back on a date until like two years after the fact um so again like i said i don't do it often but i went on and i kept swiping and swiping until i came across the advertisement i was very excited about that went ahead and clicked it looked for it again making sure that they are aware that i am interested in going to this concert to see this young woman seeing her behind off well you're on the app you might as well go ahead and, and look at some of the offerings that are there so i put my age range very specific ages 28 to about 38 you know made my bio extremely clear i am not here for the effing around if you know what i mean i am here for language exchange purposes if you're a person who wants to go grab a coffee or grab a beer and speak in english and work on that then i am your girl that is perfectly fine okay i swap with a few people a few other expats none of us have met we all check in with each other still conversing even now because i can't delete this app until this concert happens because <laughs> they dm you to let you know about the information so uh, a few people, you know, they were traveling here temporarily or they had been teaching here or stationed here and they've left out and we kind of send each other messages to work on each other's etiquette in terms of conversation. Normal things. Well, last week I had made plans 48 hours in advance to go see the live action version of Ajin. Now, Ajin is a Japanese manga and animation that I very much enjoy. It's about these people who happen to be undead. They don't know that they are immortal until they die and they are under serious attack and scrutiny and uh, there's a lot of diabolical drama and psychosis and just it's very dark and brooding and I really enjoy it so when I found out on my third watching of Black Panther <laughs> that the movie was coming I'm like yes but I was excited so I'm swiping through it or whatever and I see a gentleman his name is Khan Khan is 35 he's tall he's got nice dark hair his image is gorgeous he has a substantial bio a lot of people out here don't have bios I'm like hey so I swipe right we're matched bruh so I send a message to say hello Khan nice meeting you within about seven to ten minutes he responds back hey nice meeting you too so are you in Daegu I'm like yeah I tell him which area he's like no way I'm in the same area it's like look I didn't know if you were busy but do you want to eat and I'm like I'm always ready to I'm ready to eat right now and I just got finished eating before I made this video I'm like yeah I'm fine with that we can go ahead and do that sure whatever so he's like you know I just I don't mean to sound like a mess about it but I wanted to ask because like I go out on dates with people and I really be wanting to eat food and I just don't want to be judged so I'm like oh it's no big deal now keep in mind this is image of a real tall guy it never crossed my mind he might be fat or anything that doesn't matter that's not even the case here but that doesn't matter if i swiped right or if i say i like you i like you i don't get two poops about what you physically look like that can change what matters is what's up here and what's in here you know your your morality is far more important than your vanity that can disappear in a matter of moments i can have a freak accident right now that's like a blowout slash my face up all kinds of crap i'm gonna still be the baddest because that's what i believe here <laughs> we're talking he's trying to clarify he's like well you know do you want to go now and i'm like well i'm at work i work at a hagwon so it's a little late for me uh but i do have plans i want to go see a movie and he's like oh well, I'll go with you straight up you gonna you gonna go with me I'm like okay well you do know like the movie is happening in like an hour and a half and he's like it's no big deal I'll meet you at the theater and afterwards we can go eat and he's like I just wanted to ask how tall you are 
So I tell him my height and whatever. No big deal. I come home. I put heat on my hair once a month. It was hard for me to cut my hair. The first haircut I've had in four years. So three or four, five, six, seven, three. Had to do the math right quick. I'm a little slow. I don't put heat on my hair, but once a month, one time a month. That's why when y'all see me laid, that's fresh, that is new. I am looking immaculate. And then, you know, nature kick in and I start looking like the struggle is real. So I came in this house, I came in this house and I put heat on my hair for the second time in one week. I took a risk so I could at least look presentable because I look like I had been pulling at my hair teaching my students. All right, my coworker, she comes over as Kendra. Come, She comes, longs me her flat iron, get my hair all right and whatnot. You know, just bone straight, I'm out here, you know, killing it with this bob and everything. We get to the movie theater. She's going to see a movie that started five minutes before mine. So we're getting tickets at the same time. She's over at the food stand. I'm still trying to figure out the ticket thing. I don't see the guy. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I got stood up. It's neither here nor there. I would have went on and did my business anyway. Well, I get a message in the Tinder app. It's like eight of them. He's like, hey, are you here? Like, I don't see you. Did you stand me up? Like, hello? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm up here at the ticket booth. He was on the first floor. I was on the third or fourth, one or two. I'm like, I'm at the ticket booth. Just come on up. He's like, well, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I got on black pants. I have glasses and a brown jacket. So he got a whole bunch of color going on, but whatever. It's cold. Okay. I'm like, well... It ain't like I'm gonna be hard to find. I'm the only black person in the whole doggone place. <laughs> okay, well, it's coming into like the 10 minute mark, and I'm like, well, the um, the previews and whatnot are gonna be over soon. I better hurry up and go ahead and get these tickets. Like, we can sort that out later. It ain't that big of a deal. So I get the tickets, and I walk over to the uh, food um, the food counter because the tickets are no longer available on the self automated person machine thing and that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm holding up the line, I'm talking, I'm trying to explain that I want two seats and everything. I'm saying all of this in Korean. I grab the tickets and I turn around <laughs> and I hear, Ashley. Not like, Ashley, is that you? But like, Ashley, oh, it's you. So I turn and I look up. I ain't see nobody. So I look down and there's a man. I level with me. I had to be about 45. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he was not, he was not who he said he was in the image. So your name, Khan, to me, means con artist. You are nowhere near 35. The recession on your hairline and the gray that is up there, albeit I do know people who are in their 30s who are gray. I have some grays as well as not that many. Clearly not as many as this man. There are toddlers, middle school and high school people who have gray hair. So that is not conducive of aging however comma your photo was of a tall 35 year old man and we the same height and i'm five four i am five four you are five four two sir with your 45 year old ass with your 45 line year old ass that's what it is so i'm in my brain going oh no 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 he's like oh you got the tickets he's like well i'll go ahead and you know get us something so he walks up to the stand and i'm walking with him but in my brain i'm screaming it's too damn late now i bought this ticket i'm not gonna refund it i'm not just gonna be like yo my dude uh something came up not your height and i would like to go ahead and renege on this no i didn't do that we went ahead and went to see the movie wasn't a lot of people in there we sat down I had popcorn. I had regular popcorn. He had caramel popcorn. We sit side by side and I'm just wolfing this popcorn because I'm psychologically uncomfortable now. Like you have lied. You have lied image wise. So I'm eating the popcorn. My brain is like, Ashley, don't be this way. Why don't you turn and ask this man if he wants some of the popcorn that he bought for you, heifer. He might want some of the plain popcorn and he might have handed you the cup to carry into the theater, but you eating it. So I turned towards him, I'm like, um, um, do you want some of the regular popcorn? He goes, hmm? So did you want some of the regular? And then we just kind of looking at each other like, so I'm like, I guess, I guess you don't want that, that's fine. So I go back to eating it, whatever. The movie starts, I'm excited, I'm invested. And I keep hearing his nose whistle. The whole time, with every inhalation, there was a nice gentle and then it would whistle on out. The movie was the movie was an hour and 55, maybe an hour and 57 minutes of non-stop action and nose whistling. He couldn't have got up to blow his nose like you didn't know 
You didn't know, you don't know. You didn't you didn't hear that! So now he got graded on the nerves. He got graded on the nerves now. And uh I had to see your nose whistle. But I'm still considerate. I'm still considerate. Because albeit your image lied, or be that fact, you still might be a considerably nice person. We leave the movie. He thanks me for, you know, purchasing the ticket and whatnot. He's like, let's go ahead and go get some dinner. Very articulate, very kind, very awkward, very awkward. We walk around my small downtown area. Come to find out he really don't live in the area. He's a little bit further away. Still the same city, but just a little bit of a distance away. And... We realized that it's not very many things open at midnight in my area. Now, this is not new news. I've shared this before on my channel with y'all. We find a place. We go ahead and have dinner. Conversation is as stale as, as ever. So, I start resorting to the only thing I know that could possibly work for making conversation. I start pulling from the essay questions that I provide for my students and start asking. I'm like, so, you know, if... um. If you could travel anywhere, like where would you be? You know, those kind of things. His biography was not a lie. He's a very accomplished man. Um, and has a very quality job and things of that sort. He's traveled quite a bit. But his personality is extremely scary because he's alone. He's been alone for a long time. So, like, he doesn't know how to converse anymore to a, a natural flow. Um... I felt bad for him. Then I felt bad for myself because I'm like, I be shouting to the high heavens about my singleness. But if this shit going to make me turn into that, I need to go ahead and find me a boo, a dog, a lamb, something. Lord Jesus, bring it, him, or them to me. I don't even want to be that way. <laughs> so we get done with dinner. And he's like, well, would you like some coffee? So I'm thinking we're going to go to a coffee shop. And I'm like, well, it's nice to have some conversation with somebody who's been somewhere. I mean, this would be nice. So I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, well, we can go get coffee from the GS25. GS25 is similar to uh, 7-Eleven. Although here, convenience stores are, you know, an experience in and of themselves. You can eat your noodles there, your little meals. You can get your, 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 your experience all in one spot. So... He's like, well, yeah, we can get the coffee and go to your house. Wait, pause. We're going to break. We're going to stop the car. Get the hell out. Walk with me. Go to whose house? Listen here, Tiny Tim. I don't even know if you are the name with the face that you said you was. Or if you're using your cousin or model's face or whatever. I mean, the picture wasn't that good. He looked like a normal, everyday person. But even still, like, my house. You are not coming the hell over to my apartment. So I send my, my co-worker a text message. I'm like, yo, you got to see this dude. Like, I can't, I can't like recap this for you. You need to physically see him. So I'm like, oh, no, we can get the coffees. But I promised my co-worker I would go over to her house because it's late. And, you know, I didn't want to be out uh, trying to get back to my apartment on the other side of town unsafely. It's hella safe out here. I was just saying whatever I needed to. So... We take a short walk over to my co-worker's apartment, which is literally three skips away from my own house. So I go to her, she opens the door, and I'm like, this is Khan. And she goes, well, hello there. Kind of looks like, holy crap. And I'm like, I know. And he trying to come in. No, no, no. I said, nope, I got to go. I said, I'm going to stay over here. I'll see you. He's like, well, you had plans with me. I had plans to see the Japanese movie. Before I ever knew you existed, and when I closed this door, I'll never know you exist again. I closed the door, I recapped the story for her, my sisters, in a far more colorful way than this. Um, he did send a message asking, were you still at your friends? I promptly went and clicked the other option about why I don't want to talk to him no more, and I went into a soliloquy about how his profile photo was fraudulent and although he was a nice gentleman that put me in safety and harm's way because you are not who you presented yourself to be face wise so if something would have happened to me and he would have took me to a karaoke place and chopped me up in one of the dang on uh, rooms and left my body there to rot and decay for my american family to never see or find me again there wouldn't be no sign of being able to say who and or what this man was nobody knew what he looked like that is dating safety 101 you 
always make sure you get a photo or something that proves and substantiates who you were with and you got somebody who knows who you were with. Wouldn't nobody know? Wouldn't nobody know? They would have been looking for a tall ass man with black hair and some fineness to him. Not a man my same height who looked like the only interaction he ever gets is through the internet. Like, what in the world? What did I... Man, that catfish was so tender. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, mm, I don't know how you youngins do it out here in these streets trying to find a suitable partner. It's, it's redonkulous. I am going to do what I can to remedy such horrible experiences. I, I am not opposed to dating online. I'm not opposed to dating apps or hookup apps. If that's your life, do you, boo boo? Hey, whatever. It's a free damn life for you to live for the most part. Yeah, well, if you have access to YouTube, you got some freedoms. <laughs> so, do you be you? However, come for me, uh, Tinder better hurry up and send me this doggone concert information so I get this app off my damn phone. This shit is scary out here. <laughs> Bye, y'all.